<laughs> what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have about I have about an hour before I board my plane and fly to Paris. So I was like, this is the perfect time to answer some questions. I recently, actually not recently, it's been about a month when I got tagged in a medical school tag by Manny. Um, thank you so much for tagging me, Manny. But here it is. I know it's a little late, but I'm gonna try my very best. And I hope you I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> All right, first question. First question is, who are you, name, and age? All right, damn it. <laughs> My name is Rashid, and I am 22 years old. I know I asked you guys, okay, so some of you guys thought I was like 27, 28, 34. Guys, I'm like 22. I'm like 22. Uh, but yeah, so I'm Rashid, and I'm 22. Second question, when did, uh, when did you start studying medicine or uh, taking pre-med courses? So, I started, I graduated high school in 2012. Um, 2012? 2012? I graduated high school in 2012 and I started bachelor, or I went for my bachelor's and that's when I kind of started taking these pre-med courses. I started with biology, chemistry, OCHEM, all those classes. So it's been about four years, 2012 to 2016 is when I graduated. Um, but yeah, that's... Alright guys, third question. Uh, what made you choose the medical field? I don't know if it's exactly, I don't know if it's one thing per se that made me want to become a doctor, but I feel like my parents really did play a huge influence on me. When I was like, yay big, my mom was like, yo, you gonna be a doctor. And I was like, what's a doctor? And I don't even you know, you know <laughs> I kind of stuck with it and I feel like kind of, I was always very, I was very, I, I, I loved what doctors did. I loved the aspect of helping people, healing people. Um, chronic illnesses run deep in my family and so that kind of being exposed to all that, having personal attachments to like diabetes, hypertension, cancer, that, that really made me want to go into the medical field and help people that are just like my family members try, 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 try to make them feel a little better. And that's, that's really what motivates me or what kind of pushed me to go into the medical field. What was your name again? My name is Tabriz. Alright, I just, he just saw me vlogging and he was like, are you, alright, what's up man? Introduce you, you want to introduce yourself? Oh, my name is Tabriz and, uh, well, I'm studying software engineering. Yeah, and I can do this. Cool. What can you do? My ear trick. Oh, let's see. What? That is dope! Thanks, High five! Thanks buddy. Yeah, alright buddy, I'll catch you later. Well, that was, alright, that was a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, so, now that I'm vlogging with this huge camera apparatus, so many people are like stopping me or staring, but it's cool! If you guys, if any, I highly doubt it, but if any of you guys see me out in public, please come say hi. I've already, I've been stopped a few times and it's dope. I love talking to you guys, but here, this is, this is what, this is my little camera apparatus. I don't know if you guys can see. I have the Gorillapod, <laughs> but it's it's a it's an eye catcher, I guess. But all right, <laughs> next question. We have all right. We have 20 minutes left. Uh, next question is uh, best memory in medical school. My best memory in medical school. Hmm, I, I have a lot. There could be. There was a time that Farhan made me faint. That was that was that was cool. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Farhan, if you're watching this, I still hate you. Um, thanks for making me faint. Just kidding, just kidding. I love you, Farhan. Um, my best memory would probably have to be that. Uh, yeah, my best memory would probably have to be me fainting in medical school. It was just, it was one of the coolest things. Taking blood, it phlebotomy. I love doing it, but I can't like, I don't know what's up, guys. Like, I can poke people, I can take their blood, I can suture it perfectly fine. But if a needle just happens to touch me, it's over. It's it is over, guys. Um. So what's what's one course that I struggled with? So I'll be I'll be honest. Okay. So I'll I'll answer this with respect to undergrad, and I'll answer this with respect to medical school. I really, really, really did not like bio, and I didn't like OCHEM, and those are just I don't know. It was so it just my brain would just not like it wouldn't go in, and but yeah. So bio and OCHEM are uh, two topics that I really struggled with, and. Um, in undergrad but in medical school <laughs> in medical school I feel like I really didn't 
I, I didn't like neurology. I'll be honest. Neuro I don't see myself ever becoming a neurologist, but but cardiologist, nephrologist, pulmonologist, whatever. I like those. Neurology, not so much. The brain, the brain is complicated, guys. What's your favorite book? Harry Potter. All right. If any of you guys are Harry Potter fans, I am. I I want you guys to guess what house I got placed into. Uh, I, I think we have. There's like a there's like a Potter. Woo. <laughs> there's like. What the. All right. Or uh, guess. <laughs> I want you guys to guess what house I've got placed into. Am I a Slytherin? Am I Gryffindor? Am I Hufflepuff? Am I Ravenclaw? You guys let me know. I want you guys to tell me. What house you guys think that Kareem and Chinadu got placed into? Woo! Sorry. Guys? Yes. What house? Oh, actually, I'm having them take a guess at what house you guys got placed into for Harry Potter. Oh, you're having them guess right yeah. now? Yeah, do you think they'll be surprised? Uh, whoa. They, see, they don't know us that well. So they might be. That's true. All right, what do you guys. Be very surprised. Chinadu really likes reading books. He does. Kareem. Likes puffy things. That is so racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> he's a he's a cream puff. Tell me tell me in the comments below what house do you guys think we got placed into? Okay. <laughs> almost almost done. But the next question is, what do I do in my free time? Hmm. When I do have free time, I absolutely love making YouTube video for you. Be, be, I love making YouTube videos for you guys. Um, I really, I, I invested a lot of time into YouTube and I hope you guys see it, but I love, love, love either YouTubing or YouTubing, being a YouTuber, making videos, or going to the gym. I'm, I'm not, you know, the gains, the gains aren't necessarily there right now and people are agreeing with me, but I love working out. Um, I love making videos for you guys and I love spending time with my friends and family. And that's, that's cliche, but once I started medical school, I really, really, really started to value those little things a lot more than I did in undergrad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next question. All right, I'm running out of time. I have about 10 minutes. I got a text message from Kareem saying I need to leave now. So um, what do I plan to specialize or major in? I'm assuming this means like what kind of field of medicine I'd like to go in. I really like emergency medicine, but I can also see myself working with kidneys. I love the kidneys. Uh, nephrology is something I can definitely see myself doing. Um, or family med, I don't know. I, I have a very open mind, so regardless of what, what field I get thrown into, I, I, think, I think it'll all work out. Okay, absolute last question before I have to leave. Um, who do I look up to? And who do I look up to? That's a very hard question because I have a lot of role models, I have a lot of mentors that have helped me get to where I am today. Um, but I'd, I'd say right now, the people I really look up to are my friends like Chin, Kareem, these guys, these guys are dope and I seeing how productive they are, seeing how efficient they are with their time, seeing how they're so they're, they're able to balance their time so efficiently and eloquently is it's it's impressive guys and I look up to these guys every single day and without them I <laughs> I would not be where I am today and especially especially Chinadu. Chinadu, so let me, let me tell you guys something really quickly before I have to head out. Chinadu, I, I am not a morning person whatsoever, but Chinadu comes to my room. We had a lot of 8 a.m.s this block, so uh, he comes to my room every single day, half an hour early, just to wake me up. Like, he he is up before me, just, just, so he can come to my room, be like, Rashid, get up, and he will stand there until I get up. And he doesn't need to do that. And, he does, and Chinadu, I know you're gonna watch this because you're with me, but thank you so much for that. Without you, Chinadu, or any of my friends, I would not be where I am today, so. <laughs> I'm putting this down before people start staring. All right, guys, I really gotta go, I really gotta go. They're boarding, it is, yeah, two minutes. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I promise a bunch of videos coming out soon. Stay tuned, till next time. Juices. We gotta, we gotta show him the cameraman. Hey, man. Rashida Wan Vlogs Management.